Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're finally checking out an 11th gen i5 laptop. We wanted to see how well those integrated graphics perform compared to previous gen processors. And maybe, just maybe, Intel has a Ryzen APU competitor on their hands. But before we talk about this laptop, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's advertisement is brought to you by Accelerate Gaming powered by PNY and their latest Gen 4 SSD, the CS3140. This SSD is blazing fast with sequential read speeds up to 7,500 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 6,850 megabytes per second and comes with an optional integrated aluminum heatsink to improve performance during sustained loads. The CS3140 is great for intense workloads by providing faster boot up times and application launches, making it a great option for your next gaming or even workstation PC. Accelerate Gaming powered by PNY should be your one-stop shop for a new Gen 4 SSD and also RGB memory and GeForce GPUs. Check the link in the description down below to learn more and special thanks again to Accelerate Gaming powered by PNY for bringing you today's advertisement. So this laptop is actually a relatively affordable laptop. We paid around 600 for it, and they are available on Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, you name it. They have 11th gen stuff out now when it comes to laptops. We really wanted to try one of the laptops that have these Iris Pro XE graphics because when this stuff was first being announced, which feels like a year ago, they were showing comparisons of like 30% better graphics in some games as opposed to some of those Ryzen APUs out there. And that kind of blew my mind. So I'm like, hey, if this actually does that, we might have a gaming laptop here for around $600 that doesn't even need a dedicated graphics card. So how about we not waste any more time, open this thing up and see what she looks like. So this laptop almost doesn't seem like it has a specific name or place in this world. It's not a pavilion from what I could tell. Um, they just, it just says HP 15. Um, if we do find out a specific name, we'll obviously let you guys know. But in the box, this is a really simple box. So we just have the power brick, very small. We use those giant gaming laptop bricks. Um, and then power cord, some instructions, and then the actual laptop. So you definitely get what you pay for with this. It's a little bit of a cheaper model so you don't get a fancy case you don't get like a carrying bag you don't get you don't get nothing good nothing, good nothing. but no the laptop though um you know at, at the price range you really can't ask for much more it's pretty standard 15.6 inch laptop we'll go ahead and open it up and voila you have the typical keyboard cover it's definitely like it just reminds me of something my, my grandparents would use like really large keycaps really nice large screen you have a camera microphone obviously speakers built in look at that they advertise the intel iris xe graphics core i5 this specific i5 is a four core eight thread i don't know the boost frequency on the top of my head but hey our cool editor zach is going to have some cards like all over the screen and now McAllister's probably gonna have like his little thing like throwing the the graphics around and stuff like and then matt's gonna shake the camera now like i just I'm just calling things, but let's check out the outside real quick and then we'll probably do some other stuff. But So we have two USB 3s right here. We have a charging port. Uh, we have a USB-C HDMI out, which is a full size uh, combo jack and a full size SD card reader. This is definitely pretty basic as far as ports go. You usually see like maybe one or two more than this. Uh, once again, cheap laptop. I'm really just hoping to play games, honestly. That's all we want. So what we're gonna do is we'll turn it on and probably see if it comes with any like built-in bloatware that you're gonna wanna get rid of because sometimes that does happen with laptops like this. Then we're gonna install just some basic games, some games you might play on the go, maybe your Minecrafts, your Balance, some Fortnite, stuff like that, um, and see what kind of performance we can get on this thing. Let's do it. All right guys, it's time to tee off for benchmarking. So the first game we have here is Minecraft and we are actually pretty much maxed out in the game. The only thing we don't have turned like all the way up is render distance because this is just what it came on was 12 chunks, but a limited frame rate, no V-Sync, so no frame cap, fancy, maximum lighting. I mean, just, just fancy. It's the fancy laptop. But uh, we did actually have an issue. We already recorded this section, but our processor was hitting 95C and we noticed that fans literally just were not turning on. Um, and I'm not even kidding when I say, I think it's because we needed to restart after we changed the power mode. It was on uh, like low performance mode. And so literally the fans weren't turning on. Good FPS though, but it was dipping really hard. Um, we restarted it and now the fan is turning on just fine, no problems. So good temps, runs smooth, and we are getting over 100 FPS most of the time. 
So I would think any other game we test, which we're gonna be testing Fortnite and Valorant, we should get playable results. Um, Fortnite is the one that kind of will be pushing it a little bit. Valorant should be pretty playable, but yeah, just make sure if you do get this laptop to, oh, you're just getting like- Thornbush. Thornbush. Uh, make sure to, to make sure that power mode is enabled if you're gonna be doing any hardcore gaming. If you're gonna be doing any gaming in general, make sure because you don't wanna kill your laptop just because of overheating. Yeah, and one thing um, to keep in mind as well is I would not buy a laptop like this to play any like AAA titles. Like, uh, Fortnite, Valorant, uh, Minecraft, Roblox, games like that I think will be great for this and any older titles obviously like Being this close. could totally probably play Crisis like the older ones but um, obviously you would not want to try to play like the new Call of Duty or anything because it probably wouldn't even launch and if it did it'd be pretty unplayable. But bean battles though right? Bean battles you could definitely I know Matt's gonna want to grind that. So grind some bean battles. Play it. Yeah right. Minecraft very playable. How about we try it. another game? Next game. All right, guys, the next game we're going to be playing is Fortnite, and we are at 1080p, of course, the resolution of the laptop. Uh, we are on performance mode, which basically disables a bunch of different settings you don't need. Um, you could run this on like the normal mode and just do like pro settings, which we normally do, but we're trying to give this laptop the best chance to perform very well, and I think this is a perfect use case for performance mode in Fortnite. Let's get into a solo match. All right, guys, we are dropping into Fortnite. Right now, we're getting a little bit of a stuttery experience, but this tends to happen. Um, and also, you can kind of tell one of the bottlenecks might be the RAM in this system, only eight gigs of RAM. Um, you could get a 16 gig model, potentially spend a little bit more money, and maybe you have a better experience in Fortnite. But again, this, this laptop is not primarily made for gaming, um, so I don't know if you really want to invest that much into uh, 16 gigs of RAM for this to be a better gaming experience, but you know, it will settle in maybe here. Also, keep in mind, I might be like network lag from uh, our yeah, I'm thinking that's what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you're getting a little bit of like actual stutter, but yeah. whenever you see him go backwards, that's like rubber banding and that's just network lag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that. Like, like that's, that. that's network that's lag. That's network lag right there. Um, Can you kill someone with network lag? That's oh, yeah. the real test. But it seems to settle a little bit in these like not as popular areas, but hey, you gotta go out and kill people in Fortnite. You can't just hide in houses. <laughs> I like how I just <laughs> hit the side of the line. Oh no! Oh my God. Oh, I'm God, getting blasted. Dude, get shredded. Dude, I, he is on you. He's I ain't gonna make this. Leaving you I, he really wants me. Leave me alone. Oh, there's someone else. Oh god! Oh my god, take him out of the effing game. That's the other guy over here. Please. No, please, please, please! Oh, <laughs> Damn it. My sweat. Dude. He, he did me dirty. I really built wanted that. On you, bro. But I mean, it's definitely a little bit of a stutter experience. I think RAM does have to be a pretty decent factor of this because any system we build now, it gives RAM, does have some stutter in Fortnite. I don't know why. It's just demanding now, apparently. Uh, 16 gigs, standard for gaming. Uh, but yeah, let's play a game we know is going to run pretty well Valorant. All right, guys, we are in good old Valorant. Right now, we're running on like medium settings with anti aliasing disabled. Um, we are having some rubber banding again. I think that's probably what's happening to you. Yeah, not three, to hit shots. So keep in mind, our ping is uh, hovering around 300. So you're <laughs> gonna see like some weird stuff happening. Just mainly pay attention to the FPS because that's what this is for. Yeah, over 60, I mean, that's kind of what we expected. There are some stutters, as we mentioned, but some of that has to do with networking. So just kind of bear with us here. <laughs> Jackson cannot kill anybody. The goal is to see if he can kill one person during this run. But uh, yeah, this laptop should be able to run games like Valorant when you actually have a good internet connection um, and you can <laughs> not get sniped in the head and not wonder where it came from. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, I mean, this laptop, I'm pretty impressed with the Iris Pro graphics. Um, I'll be excited to see when we have like 11 Gen i3s come out for like the desktop to see what those perform like and uh, see It'll if Intel graphics snipe, could be right? uh, better than the uh, APU life. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. Note to self, don't game off a hotspot. Oh, <laughs> let's see go! see how slow he died? Yes. Oh, that was so bad. He oh, killed man. somebody though. That guy must be really bad. So, how do you feel? One and six. I mean, it's hard FPS to wise, lag. it's, yeah, it is. Like FPS wise, it's definitely not great. We're on like low settings right now too. Like I was actually kind of shocked because like it played Minecraft and Fortnite pretty well. And normally Valorant's like the lower of the ladder, like really easy to run. And uh, you have to like stand still to hit these. And uh, this is just not, it's not running as well as I thought it would. It's almost like Valorant's gotten more demanding. Yeah, maybe, who knows. Uh, but hey, 60 FPS, it can play some games. So if you're getting this as like a cheap school PC, office PC, I'm looking at McAllister right now doing like squats or something. I don't know what he's, he's doing. doing squats. Um, but uh, he was just looking at me. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna have some gaming ability on the side, I mean, these XE graphics are not that bad and uh, be excited to see what kind of other systems come out and especially on the desktop, what 11 Gen looks like. All right, I think it's almost time to uh, DC from this one, yeah. but uh, 
Yeah, Valorant, um, besides from the network lag, I'm gonna say playable, but uh, you're not gonna wanna get this if you're trying to actually be like a competitive gamer, cause it's, it, it, you're only getting like 60 FPS. I mean, ideally if you're gonna be like in comp games, you wanna have like 144 or more. And uh, this is clearly not quite getting it. Okay, well, all right. I think that's, that's a good one to call it on, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, just, let's wrap this video yeah. up real quick. So I actually just checked the price on this laptop right before we did this, and it is in prime shipping right now, available at around 580 bucks. So a little bit under $600. Um, and honestly, around that price range for a new laptop, you cannot get anything right now that actually has um, discrete graphics. So if anything, you're gonna get a Ryzen APU with Vega graphics, or you can get one of these new 11 gen laptops with Iris Pro XE graphics. If you're gonna get something with dedicated graphics, you're gonna be spending like $700. So taking that step up might be worth it for you if you do play games primarily. But for a laptop that has some newer technology in it, those Iris Pro graphics are actually pretty good. It's a pretty big improvement from what Intel normally has on the laptop market. So pretty happy to see some competition making Intel work a little harder on their uh, graphics processors. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with this laptop for the money. If you want to purchase this laptop, link in the description down below. They are affiliate links and they do help us out. So please consider using them. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasterbirds where we'll be giving away computers and stuff live. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So hey, if you happen to be watching this outro ad spot, if you made it this far, we actually stream over on twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros, where right now, as long as this video doesn't get moved around, we are actually giving away two computers during this stream. So join, stream, yeah, click that. We're giving away a PC. Beautiful. It'll be Goodbye. funny if we're not live, you know? Yeah, you know, we might not be. <laughs> we move the video around and then it's like, oh.